Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to some more Five Nights at Freddy's news. I'm hoping to make this one a quickie, not only because we don't have a whole lot to talk about, but also because it's over 90 degrees and I have two big bright lights on me right now. Also, before we hop in, I apologize for missing a couple of uploads without the Johnny Blocks fan art. I wanted to do these in basically every single video, but I kind of forgot to do so, so here you go. It's back. If you want to send me some, tag me on Instagram, Twitter, send it in my Discord or upload a YouTube video with Johnny Blocks in the title, and I'll make sure to see it. So we don't have a lot of stuff to talk about, so I'm gonna start off with everybody's favorite topic, FNAF AR. So it seems that now that the gameplay update has been released, they're gonna go back to their old tradition of releasing a skin every week. Last week it was the Dark Water Bear Endo skin, and now they're teasing a brand new skin for tomorrow. They made a tweet saying, These are dangerous seas. Dark Water Bear Endo lurks right beneath the surface, though we'd be just as careful of what wanders the murky, bottom. And they're actually releasing more puzzle pieces for the community to put together to try and solve what the skin is. My feelings on the puzzle pieces themselves are still the same from last video. I think it's a good idea, but just the way they're doing it, it's, it, 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 it doesn't work out. I'm sorry, it doesn't really work out. Thankfully, however, the puzzle pieces this time are a lot larger, so this time they actually have notable things in them. We have about five. I'll pop them up on screen right now. I'm not going to show the individual pieces because I, I mean, I don't think that's really necessary. So this is what we have so far and as you can tell this is going to be a toy bonnie skin and based off the tweet i'm guessing it's going to be some moss or like seaweed some sort of mucky substance that he's going to be made out of personally it looks a lot like boulder toy bonnie and i think that is way too similar for my liking so i'm hoping that this new skin has some unique feature to it that sets it apart from boulder toy bonnie uh but yeah that's the new skin releasing tomorrow and then we got the official description for the 11th and final Fazbear Fright book number 11. It's really sad to say that. I know a lot of people are like, oh, it finally needs to end after 11 books, and it is, but it is still kind of sad because it's been such a big part of the community. We do have that 12th book coming out after it, but it's a bunch of scrap stories, so this is kind of like the real send-off. Yeah, if you don't know, the 11th book is named The Prankster, and this is the official description. Standing up for yourself can be hard. Jeremiah decides he's done being the butt of his co-workers jokes on their small group studio. Joel is counting the days until he can quit his family's garden center and hit the road to a new life. Amy finally walks up the courage to ditch her loud mouth, annoying friend at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, but when it comes to Five Nights at Freddy's, even the most well-meaning actions can reap horrible consequences. In this 11th volume, Five Nights at Freddy's creator Scott Cawthon spins three sinister novella-length stories from different corners of his series' canon. Readers beware, this collection of terrifying tales is enough to unsettle even the most hardened FNAF fans. Damn, that's like one of the last times I'm ever gonna say that line. Feels bad, man. Uh, but yeah, a couple notable things to point out. Jeremiah is very close to the name Jeremy, and he's working at a small game studio. Where have we heard that before? That's right, Help Wanted. If you guys didn't know Jeremy, while also being the security guard in FNAF 2, and also one of the children that died in the missing children's incident and went on to possess Bonnie, is also an employee at Fazbear Entertainment or Silver Parasol Games. I actually forget which one he works at. I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Only about 20% of the people who watch me are actually subscribed, and that is really heartbreaking actually, because we're trying to get to 20,000 subscribers. We just hit 19k, and I- boys, thank you so much. Anyways, yeah, Jeremy is an employee at one of the two studios in FNAF Help Wanted, so I'm assuming Maybe the story will have some connections. However, we do always say, oh, this is very similar to, you know, this thing in this game, and then the story itself is kind of nowhere close to that. As for Joel in the Garden Center, that one doesn't sound too exciting, if I'm being honest. And then we have Amy and Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is the first time we've heard the pizzeria by name in the Fazbear Freight books. And I'm assuming Amy and her friend are going to be one of the two in the Missing Kids instant. I don't know. But yeah, that is the description for the 11th Fazbear Freight books the prankster. Moving on now to our final topic for today, Funko FNAF, Funko Ween, and new products coming very soon. Before we hop into Funko Ween specifically, it's worth noting that in one of the Funko live streams, they mentioned FNAF and new products. There's a lot of Five Nights at Freddy's um, requests. Yeah, absolutely. There's. I, I feel like one likely. of the teasers we put out there on social was Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. I feel like it, but I don't know. I feel like I honestly got Nights. some of those and was like, I really have no idea what this is. So yeah, we were even stumped. Oh yeah, there we go. But yeah, I would say there's definitely it's it's safe to say there's more Five Nights at Freddy's coming. 
Yeah, we heard you. We heard more you. More statues, maybe? Maybe more statues. That would be cool. Now, they don't say specifically what's coming out. Of course, they can't. But they did hint towards the possibility of new products and, more importantly, more statues coming soon. Now, again, they didn't outright confirm that more statues are coming. They also can't say what is coming out soon. They're just saying, oh, maybe more statues? Hmm? But yeah, there's that. Moving on to Funko Ween now. We've got no FNAF merchandise reveals just yet. I've heard leaks that it's coming out tomorrow. I'm not sure, though. There are only two days left in the event, so it's either coming tomorrow or Friday. However, if you go onto the official website for FYE for your entertainment, you can see that they have four listings up there. A action figure for Dreadbear, an action figure for Glitch Trap, an action figure for Grim Foxy, and also a action figure for Jack O'Bonny. So I think it's pretty safe to say that those products are basically confirmed right now. I know a lot of people bring up this image and say, oh, it's already been confirmed. Why are you only saying that now? Keep in mind that this was a leak from like two to three months ago, but it does seem like so far, it's pretty spot on. Oh, <gasps> we got a new puzzle piece, boys, right as I was about to wrap up the video. Okay, so this is now the updated, the new and updated uh, assortment of the puzzle pieces. And yeah, you can definitely tell that this is indeed Toy Bonnie. So that is all the news we have today. I'll see all of you tomorrow for hopefully the new Funko Ween FNAF products and also the brand new FNAF AR skin for Toy Bonnie. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.